Go ahead. Hey everyone, this is Shag, and welcome to day three of Shag Try Stuff Week. Yeah, I know that was supposed to be like yesterday, but yesterday was Thursday. I can never get the hang of Thursdays. I'm just gonna go ahead and claim that a week means five to seven days without... It doesn't matter if they're consecutive or not. So, as you probably guessed, this is Kirby64. You either guessed that by watching this video so far or by reading the title of the video. So why am I doing Kirby 64? Well, I really do love the game. I've beaten it to completion 100% twice. And... Well, it's a fitting follow-up to Kirby's Dream Land 2 and 3, which I let's played earlier. And someone requested it. So... Actually, it's been requested more than once. 2%? Really? I get that for starting the first level? Well, that's no fun. We gotta do this. 100% documented. Bam. Take that. Alright. So, really, this would be a great game to let's play if it weren't for one problem in the ROM. Which you'll see shortly, I'm, I'm guessing. And we do know how to use the copy ability. Hello, cutscene! Mm, cut! No cutscenes for you. Hmm. I wonder if this is loud enough. Eh, whatever, it probably is. Anyway, first level of Popstar. You'll notice something is quite astray. I don't appear to have any health. It's not that I'm invincible or incredibly glitched in that regard. It's that the bottom, like, the, the thing doesn't display how much health or what powers I have. At all, ever. Until you enter a new room, then it refreshes. Now this is a strange problem with the ROM that I don't know how to deal with, quite frankly. If anyone knows anything about that, it would be helpful. Kirby 64 is a pretty cool game because it gives you the ability to combine powers. And I've also always liked just throwing this cool star thing that you make out of powers at things. But that's aside from the point. Basically, you can combine like any power with any other power to get something that may or may not be awesome, or at least amusing. Ah, uh, Crystal Shards, the Collectathon item. The first time I played this, it took me a long time to find all of them. But the second time, well, I got all of them the first run. But if you get all of them the first run, you miss out on a cutscene, actually, so... If I were to actually let's play this, I'd have to omit getting at least one shard for the purposes of showing everything the game has to offer, I suppose. Another alternative, like if I can't figure out how to make the health and power-up display properly, would be to play it on my Wii Virtual Console that I have, because I have it on that. That is if I can get the game bridge to work, or get it back from the person I loaned it to. Uh, let's see, I have bomb now. Okay, I need to get bomb and fire, I think. This is a little bit tricksy. And by a little bit, I mean not at all. Hooray, fireworks! Actually, I didn't need that. It's just, I guess I just wanted it. Okay. Thank you, memory, for deceiving me. Tomato! Oh yeah! Ah, Waddle Dee. The ever innocent. And sometimes your friend character. Like only in this game. Oh, and Dark Matter eats him and he becomes Waddle Doo. Hooray for plot! Hooray for our first boss! Are you dead yet? 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 I can't see your health meter either. Now you're dead. Okay! Waddle Dee has waddled his last! Or has he? No, he joins your party. Okay! Yeah. And whoop! Aw, oh, man. I suck. Kirby is crying because I suck. Stop that, Kirby. You're embarrassing yourself. Alright, level two. Did I mention that this game has pretty awesome environments and music at times? Like, look at this calm, soothing forest crap. I mean, it's pretty awesome, right? Wah! I need a new power. 
one fitting of my... Well, I missed that. One fitting of something. Fitting of... Fitting of something. Come on! You're just making me stumble over my words more, you crazy game. Oh, and cut- the only thing bad about this game is probably the way they decided to do Cutter. Cause that's just weird, man. Jump! Whoop! Combine! Uh, what do I get if I inhale three things? Or apparently Rock Cutter. Rock Cutter is, like, one of the coolest combinations in the game just because you can turn into animals from Kirby's Dreamland 3. Oh, we'll get! Huzzah! Owl smash! Bash! Oh, but it wouldn't be complete unless we turned into... A fish? No. Owl again? No. Hamster? No. Choo-choo? No. Owl? No. Hamster? Come on! Oh, what a gamble my life is. As Kirby. Come on! You know you want to do it, game. NAGO! Dun 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 That's not even a thing. How about dun 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 Ha ha! Nago smash! Yes! Glorious victory is mine! I'll hail the Nago Republic! Smash and bash! Have I mentioned that you're invincible while in stone form? No, I have not, but now I have! Nago is the greatest thing ever! Buy all his playsets and toys! Bam! Alright, enough of my, um... Um, whatever that was, but... Anyway, Kirby 64 is a great game. It really is. Hey! No! Nago! You must overcome this boundary so I can continue to use- oh, well. No, that's not fun. We have to have the spirit of a demo and show off all these sorts of powers we can do. Like bombs. Bombs are cool, right? Whee! I love exploding things. Oh, look! A sandwich! Yay! I love sandwiches, too! I do not love exploding sandwiches, though. That would be bad. What is rock bomb? Dynamite! That can hurt you, so I don't like it very much. Let's keep going. Do 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 spike. Oh yeah, spike spike is pretty crazy in this one. Let's show that off. Hello, going backwards. Nice to see you again. Bam. Swiss Army Kirby. If my Swiss Army knife that I don't have had a cactus and a bee in it, I think I would be prepared for about anything that could ever happen to me. Ever. I mean, what can't you do with a cactus? Seriously. Have you thought about it? No, I bet you haven't. Alright, Waddle D. Log roll in action! It's pretty convenient that they just happen to have this log roll operated hover wood here. I mean, what sort of transport, what, who thought of this method of transport? Oh yeah, there's another thing about this game that I just remembered, and I hope it doesn't kill me. Flying is limited. You can't fly to your heart's content, only to your stamina's content, or Kirby's stamina. But I have cake, so everything's all right. Fall, Kirby! Oh look, it's thing. I don't particularly care of the particulars because that thing is dead. And I'm stabbing stuff with a cactus. Nothing can make me happier, no sir. Oh look, another cutscene. And the return of Edo, now known as Adeline. I gotta give him credit, an evil painter is kind of a unique idea. It's creative. At least I hope it's creative or else it won't be able to fight me very well. Ha! You don't see any evil scribblers. No, they have to paint stuff. Or else they're not effective. But anyway, she got eaten by dark matter, so she's not really evil. And in later levels, she draws you tomatoes and stuff. 
Wee, this is so easy. Oh no, it's a spider, and there's a thing. I don't know. I have no idea what the heck that is. Was it censored for US release? Are you drawing pornographic pictures for your deviant art page? Is that what evil has done to you? Well, here's an actual boss sort of thing. You'll remember this guy from Kirby's Dreamland 3. Now you'll remember him from his explosion there. Oh look, it's dark matter. Gee, I wonder. Oh. Uh, I'll have to be a slightly more careful with my cactus stabbery. Because I have no idea if I'm going to die or not. Thanks to you, health. Yeah, you're dead. Thank you very much. Uh, 